I know this because I'm so forgetful and I'm not the only forgetful person. You know, here's another thing in psychology that I think is just so insightful to look at. Um, when you learn something in the moment of learning it, obviously you you know, a hundred percent of it, but within an hour, you forget half of it. And by the end of the first day, you forget like 70% of it. And the second day, it's even significantly lower. And then of course, you know, within a month, you only remember highlights. And um, that and many other things in psychology that Paul and I won't bore you on <laughs> are happening, plus the negativity bias that keeps us from actually um, leaning, uh, first learning, and then second, uh, continuing to lean into our strengths, which is why at Cloverleaf, we uh, lean on this model, which is actually the forgetting curve. But when you are reminded, when you are reminded, when you're reminded, the curve gets flatter and flatter, and you actually can remember these things and add this to not just being reminded of it, but given ways to act on it and implement it, like in that meeting, having that conversation. Um, these are the things that really ultimately change behavior and bring those business outcomes that Paul and I were talking about, but also bring a better culture and end up with you going home feeling proud of what you got to do today right. and, and right. grateful for the people, the unique people you got to do it with. Yeah. And you kind of get to know this stuff um, without even knowing that you're getting to know it, right? I mean, if you, right. these, are, these are micro prompts, these are things that are happening on an unconscious level or a subconscious level pretty quickly. Um, and yet, you know, every time this happens, it's going to reinforce that initial knowledge, that initial moment of insight to a point where it just becomes your reality. And then over time, you do that within the team enough, that becomes a, t a culture within the team. You do it across enough teams, it becomes a culture within the whole organization. And that right. has all of the positive outcomes and outflows like Kirsten, you were talking about where, you know, there's this overlap between work and home, you know, then you're going to, as you said, you're going to go home feeling energized. You're going to feel proud. Where does that go when you get home, mm -hmm. when you have, when you have dinner, you know, when you're talking Family. to your, your, your mm -hmm. loved ones, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's going to go into a really um, grateful, appreciative conversation where you're feeling relaxed, less stressed, and you can talk, you know, with genuine passion about what you did today and it mm -hmm. not feel like it was a, you know, like it was a struggle, but actually mm -hmm. there were, there were moments where you were, you know, really, really in flow. 